From San Jose, California, in the heart of Silicon Valley, it's theCUBE, covering Hadoop Summit 2016. Brought to you by Hortonworks. Here's your host, John Furrier. Hey, welcome back everyone. We are live here in Silicon Valley at Hadoop Summit 2016. This is SiliconANGLE Media's theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier. Our next guest is Kerry James, Big Data, Director of Big Data Solutions at EMC. Joe Lichman, who's the VP of Product Management at Activio. And Tony Fisher, SVP of Strategy and Business Development at Saloni. Guys, welcome to theCUBE, welcome back. Thank you. Thanks, great to be here. So, I want to just get the update. Um, EMC, Ecosystem Partners. This is the 2016 mandate we're seeing in the industry. People are working together. Um, this big data community is kind of like pre-teen, some say, as Merv Adrian says, and <laughs> play dates are very popular, carpooling, yeah. everyone's partnering. So, so give us the update. I mean, this is now a big part of the ecosystem development, a lot of developer action going on with Docker containers, seeing big data applications being driven, platforms being connected. Yep. Give us the update. So uh, it's exactly for us, right? So we've talked about this before in the past, right? Our position from EMC is that we can't, we want to complement the ecosystem, not compete with the ecosystem. And to be able to do that, we have to find the partnerships, right? As you've seen it, right? We talked about it late last year, early this year, simplifying the ecosystem. The big thing for us in doing that is finding partners that we can work with that we believe are best of breed in their areas, and then working together to put those together. We're working with the partners like with Hortonworks as well, but that's on the analytics, the Hadoop ecosystem platform. Um, data scientists do spend a lot of time in there, but we also spend a lot of time just wrangling the environments, trying to find the data, trying to move the data, which is why we've partnered with um, like Ativio and Zaloni to help us as an ecosystem play be able to find data, you know, make that data accessible to the data scientist, but also to be able to get data into the data lakes, right, and be able to manage that information and make it easy to consistently workflow, provide governance and security, so if certain data needs to be tokenized or obfuscated, we do that on the way in. So we make that simple for our, our users. We want them to focus on you know, innovating and finding business insight and business outcomes and not having to try to wrangle the environments, um, which is the other big thing for us that we're doing. You know, this is not a one-time event for us, right? We are, we're in a partnership, long-term partnerships. We we're doing the initial integration which will be out in our August release. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't stop with that initial integration, right? We're going to continue to move forward as Ativio continues to advance their technologies and capabilities, as Aloni continues their pieces. We'll continue to make those integrations on the back end side, not only the technology integration, but also probably one of the major key points is the metadata. So we can actually make that entire ecosystem a, con a single cohesive entity and not, you know, um, you know, four or five different jigsaw puzzles trying to be squished together. Great, Joe, at Ativio, talk about the, your product, because how does that fit in? Because, you know, we're hearing, obviously, the solutions what customers want. They don't want to get locked into one vendor. They want choice, but at the end of the day, they are cobbling together or composing or architecting solutions. So not all, not everyone's going to win everything, but this is very key. What, what are you guys playing uh, in role? What role does your product play in that, that equation? Yeah, so what, what Ativio is doing is we will connect to data wherever it is, inside or outside of the data. And by doing so, we will also analyze it, make it understandable, and make it findable. And that's really our, our main goal. Allow any user, business user, uh, data scientist to find the data, understand it, and how they can use it. So in, in this context, what, what we're doing is we're finding all the data that's outside of a new um, in the databases, in the warehouses, you name it, on it's the file relevant, systems. Not everyone's using Hadoop, that's clear coming out of this show, it's not a Hadoop-only world. It's not a Hadoop-only world, and even when it, you know, maybe in some future state when Hadoop is even bigger than it is today, there will still be data sources that are outside, that are relevant, and combining them is really a, an important piece. And Tivio could deal with the structured and unstructured data. What we do is we bring it in and we build a semantic catalog. We build an environment, uh, we understand the data, we actually will, will analyze it, and by semantic we make it available to uh, to business users. What's in this column? It's a it's PII, it's social security numbers, names, things that they understand, things that they can look for. And when they do that, they can then find the data that they want to bring into the system, 
And that's where uh, the integration works, where Atibio then hands that over to Zaloni, who can then bring it in. Um, and when they bring it in, Atibio can then pick it up again and make it available as these are the sources that are available in the deal. So pass, shoot, score, relay, race, whatever. Tony, this is this is the this is the game. People have to work together. Now, you, how do you fit into this? You work back and forth. Explain what well, Zaloni yeah. does in this equation. Well, of course we work back and forth. Uh, so as Kerry was saying, there's some themes with the EMC big data solution. There's automation, visibility, security, and kind of an overriding thing of simplicity. And so the the work and back and forth part of it has a lot to do with the simplicity. Let's make this easy. But if you look specifically at Zaloni, we, we concentrate on getting the data into the data lake and managing the manipulation of that data through the data lake. So we start with a high speed uh, data transformation and ingestion engine to get the right data into the data lake. Populate their lakes. Help them populate the data lakes. That's right. And then there's a, a, a data flow creation that you can uh, subset, superset the data, transform the data, apply data quality to the data to make sure that the right data gets to the right user application at the right time. So that's what Zaloni does. So guys, I got to ask you a question just to kind of tie it all together. What's it take for an ecosystem to work these days? Because again, there's growth, there's uh, a lot of opportunity, but then partnering has to be part of it. What's fundamental uh, for folks to know about in dealing with ecosystem partnerships, especially the customer impact? On the technical level, you know, it's it's trying to adhere to standards and being open with your APIs. Right? So you just have to you have to go no, go in knowing that your product will be integrated with something. And very few full stack vendors are gonna uh, are in this space. That's not what yeah. people want, and there's it's moving so fast it's, it doesn't make sense. So to serve the customer, having those open APIs, and then it's you know it's 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 good that EMC is driving this. They're bringing us together. Um, it's a it's a good go to market. It's a good way to uh, to reach customers. So there's a lot of uh, influence there. Yeah, I think all of us realize that no one vendor is going to solve the user's problems. Uh, there, there's a lot of technology, uh, and, and, and companies excel at particular niches of technology, and so the best thing to do is to take the best of the best and provide that to the customer, and that's what I think we're doing here. And, and on top of that, right, so with EMC, right, we've been paramount for a long time, customer experience, customer management, and total customer satisfaction. So working with the different the vendors for us, right, integrating those capabilities, but also integrating support. That's a huge part of this piece, is that it's a single number that you call, and then we've orchestrated with the different vendors that we are first line of defense, but we're not the only line of defense. So we have to make sure that, again, from a customer perspective, why would you buy the EMC solution over trying to piece these together yourself? A couple major reasons, right? One is we've spent already close to a year of engineering integrating, and we're going to continue to do that going yeah. forward. You don't have to do that. Second part of that is, is if something goes bump in the night, it's a single number to go to help find your issues, not having to guess where in your ecosystem the break is, and then trying to chase three or four different vendors to make that, that happen. You know, it's interesting, Gary, Joe said it, I like the comment around the technical integration because you know, the trend that I'm seeing is certainly in this industry now, it's technology deals now, are the, are the business deals. I was talking with Mario Anna Tesla, who's the new um, strategy and alliances at Docker, right. she was running engineering. And, and, and I asked her, is this by design, or use VP of strategy, which they tend to do for people who are on the way out, but no, it's a fundamental position to build the ecosystem, because now there's table stakes on the technology level, because without open data, you can't have a really good observation space. And that's a fundamental, you agree? I, I totally agree, right? So that's the big thing, right? We have to have the open data, and that's the thing for us, is we want to make it easy for people to understand, right? So like we said, a Tivio can show you enterprises outside the system, but you know, once people bring data into Hadoop as well, it's a mishmash of information. How do I find what I have? So that's, again, that whole piece, is we have the, the open data ecosystem. And you know, Hadoop is one tool, right? We've talked this before, it's not the only tool out there. So that's the other reason and why we're utilizing the Zaloni Ativio pieces and the EMC pieces is allow the data scientists and the users to apply the right tool, but we then again manage the data integration and, and migration behind it. So we have that technical integration. We continue moving forward with the technical um, interlocks. And again, like I said, right, as they advance their products, we, re continue, we continually rethink our strategy uh, as a consortium to make sure that we are delivering the right thing for the marketplace, but also again, truly 
really to make it simple. Customer experience is everything. Yes. The solutions have to be there. And if we have more time, we'd love to talk about Hadoop in the cloud and how that's going to play out. <laughs> but we don't. Guys, thanks so much. Thank you, John. Very great. Thank you. Thanks for the update, guys. Congratulations. Technical integration, really table stakes now in this industry of ecosystem success. EMC's doing a good job. Congratulations to theCUBE. We're back with more integrating the content with you for, for you. We'll be right back into the short break.